Good afternoon, winners. This is Carm Land for the win on Sunday, March 27th. Hi, winners. How are you? I miss you, but I'm also glad to have some time off to get some things together and get my creative juices flowing and just think of different things to be able to bring you. So I just wanted to come in today, first of all, just to say hi, winners. I know we're all doing well. Why? Because we are winners. I'm just sitting around today, relaxing a little bit, enjoying some service. And then um, right now, just getting ready to do some meal prepping for the week for work. And I also want to just come and ask a couple of questions here to get some of my viewers to just respond and get some different thoughts and ideas other than my own. Because I know we're all winners and we all have winning thoughts and opinions, right? Yes, of course, because we are what? We are winners. Winners, what I was thinking about is um, I'm preparing for a couple of vacations and another cruise coming up in October, God willing, for my 52nd birthday. And one of the things that I think about as I watch my uh, YouTube family cruisers faithfully, some of the, some of the cruisers... Um, and vloggers, they cruise so often. I wonder how they keep in shape and not gain any weight by cruising so often. And you have all this immaculate, wonderful food every day at your fingertips, at your disposal, whenever you want it. How do you, you know, keep in shape and not gain weight? I know they have um, excursions and I know they have exercise and weight rooms, but does everybody participate? Um, I know that, you know, me just trying to keep healthy and live long and have a healthy quality life, I do exercises, but I'm just trying to figure out because they can give me some tips. I would be more than happy to accept them on what they do to um, eat, enjoy, and not gain weight. Um, so those are some of the things I'm thinking about and just wondering about as I prepare for, um, my vacations and cruises. And I'm looking for, um, different cruise vloggers who are planning group cruises to, um, post some of their, you know, upcoming plans to cruise with the groups or those, um, viewers who watch them and follow them. And the only reason I watch so hard <laughs> is because I have to put in my vacation request almost at the, well, basically at the beginning of the year. So I need to know way ahead of time when, and then I have to put in the request and get approved for the request. Because I watch a lot of cruise vloggers and I enjoy their content and I want to hang out and have fun. I watch a lot of the guys, Edna's World. I watch the um, Allen Family Adventures. I watch AK Adventures. I watch uh, Terry and Addie. I watch the Rich and Jazzy Life. I watch uh, Life with V. I, life, I watch, I'm sorry, um, Life with Us TV. I watch the Traveling Heartbeats. I watch EECC Travels. I watch um, Lolita Loco. I watch um, Para DJ. I watch um, Sharon at Sea. I watch Kayla. Uh, I think it's Kayla, Kyla. I'm, I apologize right now. I can't think of it right now. Um, the Parkers on the Go. And I especially watch them because we have the same last name. And um, Kaya, I think it is. Kayla and her daughter and son. Forgive me. Charged to my head and not my heart. And so many others. And I want to um, be able to travel with some of those um, groups and have fun. The tr Mr. Traveler. Um, there's so many wonderful uh, content creators and cruise vloggers, and I want to travel with you guys, so I just keep um, watching out. But if you guys are planning anything, please let me know, even if you can just DM me if you don't want to tell everybody about it yet, because I need to prepare early and put in my request. And then I'm just sitting around here thinking of different things. I said I was redecorating and um, this is kind of like an all over the vlog, uh, all over the world vlog today. Just different things that I'm thinking of and trying to do. And um, I went to the store because I love a good smelling home, a good clean home. And uh, I love my candles. And I went to Audie's because I, I watched someone's blog, blog about a couple of months ago. And they were talking about candles at Audie's. So I ordered one before from Audie's. And it was really good smelling. And I think I have them sitting right here with me. Um, the one I, I just ordered one to test it out. And the one that I ordered at that time. And I'm going to show you. And pardon me sitting down. But I ordered the Mountain Air. This is a candle. It cost me like $5 at Audie's. 
this mountain air, you guys, smells wonderful. And I ordered it, and I was like, okay. And the throw was good. It wasn't weak. Mm. And so for $5, I was like, you can't beat it. So I said, okay. I was out nearing all these and not where I normally go and get my candles, which basically most of the time is um, either a store called Kirkland's or Bath and Body Works. I like Kirkland's because they put them on sale and they are great. They have a good throw. And a store near me here in Detroit, Michigan, there's a Kirkland's and a Bath and Body Works right next door to each other. And since I love both, whoever has the best sale going on at the time, that's who gets my money. But um, I did go into Kirkland's and I said, let me give it another try with more than just that one candle. So I went to Kirk, um, I'm sorry, Audie's last week. And I bought a few candles, and I'm just going to show you what I bought. And then you guys tell me in the comments after you like and subscribe to my channel if you've ever tried candles from Audi and what you think about them. I do watch some Shop With Me videos as well. Sorry about the camera. And I've seen other people say that they've gone and purchased candles from Audi and that they... I either liked them or didn't like them, but I enjoyed the one that I've had so far. So I bought two more, the one I just showed you that morning there. Then I bought this one. It is called um, Vanilla Coconut Golden Barley. Vanilla Coconut Golden Barley. Mm. But anyway, let me smell it. Oh my word, you guys. This smells so amazing. Mmm, I don't know if you can see that if the light is going to let it come through and be great. Vanilla coconut golden barley. You guys, this candle smells, oh, amazing. It has like a sexy scent for those of you who are married or whatever you do. And you want to have a romantic evening. That candle is perfect for that. And then the final one that I got... It's more on the fruity side. It makes me think of spring and summer. So that's the reason I purchased this one. I do like scents like the one I just showed you, that vanilla coconut. But I took the top off of this and can smell it right away. It's called Tropical Escape. Hopefully you can see it. Ah, oh, it's amazing, you guys. So check these out. These candles smell wonderful. I have one burning right now, but it's from Kirkland. I can't think of the scent right now, but it smells so good. People, my neighbors always come to my door and tell me they can smell my apartment and that it smells good. Because who wants to have an apartment that stinks? <laughs> so I do live in an apartment, but who wants to live anywhere and it doesn't smell good? Not me, not I. Guys, what are you doing today on this Sunday? I'm trying to think of some movies to watch. I don't know what I want to watch before, right when COVID hit, there were like movies coming out and there was a list of them that I was intending to see. But with all the excitement and all the chaos and everything going on with COVID, I don't remember not a lot of those movies. There was one movie, there was a white husband and a black lady and it was during the time of, you know, that era of depression and uh, wind, bigotry and racial Discord was really popular then, and they allowed it. Um, but this white man stood up for his black wife. I can't remember the name of that movie, but I wanted to see it because, you know, I just wanted to see how that turned out. But i trying to look, and I'm searching my um, smart TV for different channels and apps that may have some good movies. But what can you guys suggest? What have you watched? I'm not big into series, movies, you know, that's a series or have a whole lot of parts. If it's a movie, okay, but if it's like a TV series, not big into that. Mm, not yet anyway. I haven't seen anything that has drawn my attention to watch that. Um, so I'm not big into that. But I'm just trying to figure out, you know, some good movies and good TV shows and things to watch because I can easily go back to my old school favorite that I grew up on from the 70s and 80s. Um, you know, on my old shows. <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, evolve into different things and watch new things. But I need some help, you guys. So what can you suggest? Um, also, guys, where are you guys? Um, what are you guys planning for the spring and the summer coming up? I know it's, you know, a lot going on still. And they're trying to talk about different variants of this Omicron. But I'm rebuking all of that. I'm speaking life. I'm speaking to every situation and commanding everything to line up to the will of God for my life. 
And I know that he said that he has plans for me to prosper so and be in health even as my soul prospers. So we're going to just cut that down. We're going to speak those things. We're going to cast them down and call those things into the obedience of the word of God so they can get on out the way. So we got stuff to do, right? Because we're what? Winners. So guys, what are your some of your plans for the summer and um, spring and summer coming up? And what are your plans for Easter? Easter's coming up April 17th. Um... I know I'm going to cook a meal for myself. I always cook at home. And I bought some turkey wings. I have a uh, love for turkey wings. So I bought some turkey wings. And I don't know what size I'm going to have with it yet. But I do know I'm going to have turkey wings. God willing, I'll probably make some uh, green veggie. And maybe a little small starch. Maybe, you know what, some turkey wings. I'll make some either greens, cabbage, spinach, something like that. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts. And I'll have a baked sweet potato. How about that, you guys? Because I told you I'm trying to be healthy. Not trying. I am healthy. I'm speaking that. I'm manifesting that. And so I'm going to have a healthy life, you guys. Um, but what about you? What are you fixing? And for dessert, I don't know why I've been craving a donut from like, actually from uh, Dutch Girl Donuts in Detroit. Actually Highland Park, but it's a Detroit uh, area. And they closed down. I believe the owner passed away after years and years and years. This donut place was so popular. My my father, he ate it growing up. So, you know, my daddy's 91 almost. So it's been around for a long time. Been in, I'm sure it went from family member to family member. But they had some of the best donuts. And so they are closed now. But I've been craving a donut. So I said for Easter, instead of having like a purchasing a whole cake or dessert or something like that. Because I am trying to do right. I want my food to be between... Uh, 85 to 90 percent healthy, and then I'll allow myself 10 to 15 percent a treat every now and again, but not every day, just every now and again. So for Easter, I'm thinking maybe I'll go and get a donut from either Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, or Tim Horton, and just have a donut, or even maybe Whole Foods. Just have a donut as my dessert for Easter. So what about you guys? Are you cooking a huge family dinner? Are you inviting people over? Are you still uh, social distancing? Are you still not gathering? So for me right now, because my parents went through this COVID and they're older, like I said, my dad is almost 91. He just started walking again because not only did he contract COVID, but he also had COVID pneumonia. And so he was in rehab for like two months and they did not do anything. Do you hear me? He was supposed to be walking before he left out of there and he was not. And we got him home and hired someone and he's walking. Um, but it was such a scary situation because my dad is an older man. And, you know, he worked in the postal service when they allowed people to smoke in buildings. And so, although he didn't smoke, people did blowing smoke all over the room. So he has COPD. And uh, my mother has dementia, so she contracted COVID. But, you know, it was a scary situation. But I believe God, and he carried them and brought them through. Um, so I'm still not real sure about gathering as a big family just yet, you know, even though they have antibodies. It does not mean that they can't contract it again. And just don't want to be in that situation again. Not with my parents, my, myself, or any of my family members. So not really sure I want to gather. Um, right now, at this time, I wish we could. I wish things were a little better. Or maybe we can go, you know, do a... Everybody cook a meal and then take it, you know, take it to their home. And then my sister, you know, since she has conservatorship, she can, um, you know, have it and fix everybody's plate. I don't know how we're going to do this because it's just still rough on everybody. Everybody in these last two years have had it hard and going through things. And now with the food prices and the gas prices up, you know, it's just really hard. So maybe we can just send them, you know, a little card and go visit one by one as we can. And uh, whenever I go, I try to go at bearing gifts. So I'll bring a little something and visit them and then, you know, make sure I don't stay long, first of all. Because I go to work and I work with colleagues who are not vaccinated and I don't know what they do. I don't know who they are around. So I just want to be careful for myself, one, but especially for my parents and all those that I love. Anybody. I don't want to give anybody anything. Do you hear me? I love everybody, you guys. I do. And I'm just going to be just honest. I'm not real comfortable just yet, you know, gathering with my parents like that because 
I think it was when they gathered for Christmas is when they contracted it So with my family. So I'm just, you know, leery about that right now. I wish we could. I love my family. We are so used to gathering for different holidays, and we just gather just because, because we're family, and we're winners too. And we love hanging out with each other, and we get mad at each other just like everybody else, and we get on each other's nerves. But, baby, you best believe we're coming back together because why we're winners, and we are family, and we are commanded to love one another. So, guys, if you have some confusion and stuff going on within your family, get it together, guys. Because, you know, just everything that's been going on in this world today, we, we don't need that hatred and bitterness amongst us in our families. You know, so any dissension and any anger and any um, unresolved issues and anything that's gone unsaid or if apologies need to be made, do that. Take care so that you won't be hurt or suffering from mental illness and issues if they so happen or you so happen to leave here and have not resolved them issues. That can wear a toll on you. I have a friend who got into an argument with his brother one morning before. They were still in high school, but he's now almost 60, so this has been like 30 years plus. But he got into an argument with his brother before they left for high school. His brother left out the house, and he had on a brand new gold chain. You know, back in that era when people were robbing you and killing you for your gold chains and your filas and stuff like that. He walked out the house, and some guys came to and robbed him, trying to steal his gold chain on his neck, and he trying to fight for it. Um, and trying to run away, and they shot and killed him. And my friend suffered, I mean, a, 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 just a strong depression and mental illness, and he still suffers to this day. He's tried to commit suicide a couple times. I tried to be there, and I have been there uh, for him, and his family has called to thank me for being there to encourage him because you just don't know the hurt and the pain that you will feel. And to know that the last words his brother heard from him was, I hate you. He told his brother, I hate you, because when they were arguing, and you know, sometimes that's why we have to be careful what comes out of our mouths. He told his brother, the last words his brother heard from him were, I hate you. And although his brother knew he didn't hate him, that's what people do sometimes when they argue. They say things to hurt you, which we should stop doing. And so he left out, got robbed, and killed. And my friend was not able to say I'm sorry to my his brother and tell him that I really did love you and that ate at him and ate at him and ate at him. And um, he suffered so much uh, mentally, and it began to affect him physically. And um, I'm praying for him. I just, you know, was able to reach back out to him not long ago, but still praying for him because he's still dealing with a lot of mental anguish and things just going on that he still has not dealt with, you know. And he just has to give it to the Lord now because 30-plus years, is you can't change it. You can't do anything about it. But we who are still here and remain we can. Let's not let that be our stories or our testimonies, okay, you guys? Even if you don't like me, if you don't like what I put on my channel, if you don't like my content, guess what? I love you and I like you. Why? Because I'm a winner. And guess what? You are too. So don't be that way. You're a winner. You are great. There is greatness inside of you when you were created. You were created with goodness and greatness. Don't let people or the world or situations or circumstances change, you guys. Okay? And I don't know how I got off onto that subject. But anyway, what I was talking about was gathering for the holiday, <laughs> Easter coming up. So are you guys buying new outfits? Are you taking pictures? Are you going to try to go to church? I mean, what are your plans? Um, I am going to try to go. We do have still social distancing at our church and you know we have limited seating and things like that and when you go you still have to uh, wear your mask and things like that and I watch virtual service every Sunday and Tuesday and then during the week also too just whatever the Lord places upon my heart you know sometimes we need encouragement when we go through I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying that I don't go through things um and that's why I use you know, the tools and the TV. I'm so glad we had that. When I need a word of encouragement, I read my scripture and I read my affirmations and I pray. But then there's, you know, times when I can pull up the TV show and go back to a, a sermon or a lesson that was taught that will help me in what I'm facing at that moment. 
So that's why, you know, service is important to me, and I'm still glad we are able to fellowship, you know, via Cyber Sanctuary. Um, but what are your plans? Um, I do want to, you know, send my parents something. I know my parents love chocolate. My mother loves chocolate with almonds. My dad loves uh, plain chocolate with no nuts or anything like that. And he loves his Oreos, and they're sweets. And, you know, growing up, you try to limit that stuff, you know, as you and your like my age, I'm almost 52. I started about 40, 35, you know, thinking about it, 38, trying to implement some things in 40, 45, really making some changes. And now when I hit 50, I really began to change even more because I don't want to just exist. I want quality life. So, you know, now that my dad is almost 91, my mother's will be 77. You know, we try to let them have a few more treats than normal of a person than my age, at least, you know, because, um, Hey, they've lived, they've done their time. You know, not saying I'm not saying I want them to end and I'm not saying they're about to end, but we let, we let them have a, you know, a few a few more treats, you know, they deserve it. And so, you know, we like our treats too. And so every now and again, like I said for Easter, I'm just going to probably have a donut. I don't know why I've been craving a donut. I don't even eat many donuts, but I just wanted a good old like I said, Dutch girl, but they're no longer in existence. So I said I may try either a Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, or Tim Hortons. Or what I think I'm leaning to, though, is Whole Foods Market Donut. Um, but again, just trying to figure out things to do. Um, some of my cruise vloggers that I watch and content creators, how they are able to maintain and manage their weight by cruising so much sometimes back to back and not gaining any weight. Do you participate in the... Um, onboard exercise classes, or do you go to the weight rooms on board? What do you do that help you to be successful? And also, some of my um, favorite YouTube vloggers, um, if you are planning anything, especially for 2023, around the eight, between, I would say, April to October, if you are planning any group cruises, uh, if you don't want to put it out just yet on your channel, if you could DM me, so because I have to plan way ahead of time. I need to know like mm, by December to January at the latest because I have to put in my request by January. So um, even if I have to change it, um, at least they'll know because our schedules and our work schedules are planned out three months, at least three months ahead of time. So I, and that's the reason why I have to know and then I, if I need to trade dates on Saturdays with someone, I need to know that as well. So I'd appreciate it, all those groups that I named. I would appreciate if you would just let me know. And then, oh, uh, another group that I just started following is Jeffrey's Angel. They tickle me. I love it. Angel is hilarious. And pardon me for looking away for a moment. Um, because I am going to look for, and I have sitting right here in front of my TV. And I don't want to be, um, I don't want to slight anyone. So I'm going to go ahead and find the other channel that I was talking about because I don't want to make anyone feel bad, you know, name everybody else um, and then forgot them. And I did say the Allen Family Adventures, um, but the group, the young lady that I am looking for is, oh, and please forgive me, I forgot Griff and Elisa, I watched them and I watched um, Fane and Laura. Um, but who am I looking for? Uh, JJ Cruz. Oh, Joy C. Me. And Just Kaya TV is who I'm talking about. I don't like to forget anybody. Um, so forgive me, <laughs> Kaya. Um, but I had to go. I'm sitting right here. I'm glad I am sitting right here. Um, so that I could find it just right off the top. And then the young man, I believe his name is Nick. Um... MH Family Adventures, I, Mr. Traveler, I said them. I said Parker's on the go. Um, just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody that I follow. The Sea Cruisers, Sean and Steph, um, Sid Cruiser. I follow all these groups um, and some more. JJ Cruz. Um, let's see. The Neos Next Door, Tiff and Dre TV, Travel with Nick. So, guys, um, if you guys are doing some, I think I said the Traveling Heartbeats. And um, if you are planning some trips for 2023, 
um, like between April to maybe October, even I'll just say April through November, uh, December. Um, if you don't want to post them on your channel yet, if you could let me know so that I could try and plan and coordinate this with my job, because I do want to hang out with some of the uh, travel groups that I see and then I watch so faithfully. Um, I believe that we will have a good time. I know there is a couple of group uh, cruise groups coming up, but I was not able to uh, partake in those, um, you know, because I didn't have enough time to try to get the dates clear with my job. Um, you know, I have to, if I'm not the first one and they come by seniority, and even though I have some seniority, there's still those who have more seniority than me. So, um, if you know, if you plan on something, you know, let us know or DM me again, because I really want to travel with you guys. Um, and if I can't make it with everybody, please charge it again to my head and not my heart. I'm not, um... Choosing, I'm not, I don't do favoritism or anything like that. It's just whatever is convenient for me. Um, but I do want to go and I'm um, looking forward to it. I know it's probably um, the cheapest things um, are the, is the Bahamas. The, some of the cheapest cruises are the Bahamas. What well, is the Bahamas? Um, but if you're doing something else too, you know, let me know besides the Bahamas. And I'm not opposed to going again. I will because I like a good cruise. I am in love with the ships now. Um, once I did my maiden voyage back in December 2021, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I was on the conquest and I am hooked. I am now a lover of cruising. So I'm excited about it. I'm not going to hold you today. I was just sitting here and... I said I had not been on in a couple of days, and I'm just trying to keep my channel active because when I do go on my cruise, I would love to be able to go live from YouTube. And so I'm asking as many as can and will to like my channel and subscribe, like my video and subscribe to my channel, and then share with your friends and family and ask them to subscribe. I'm trying to get to at least... 100 subscribers by my birthday, which is October 13th. My cruise starts October 22nd. And at that time, I would like to have at least 100 subscribers so that I can go ahead and start recording live from YouTube. Um, I know I'm not as advanced as all of these that I named and who have great content. Um, but <laughs> I still like, and this is a way for me, honestly, to keep, um, record of my trips and things like that and my vacations and I plan to do a little something throughout the year um but with my tight work schedule sometimes it can become so hard but I plan to take a vacation in July I'm looking at because I've already requested that time I had to with January so do something even if it's something small I'm looking to just do a little something just to have fun because you got to take time for yourself you guys, so that you won't burn yourself out. And my job encourages that, which I'm excited about. It's just getting the time in <laughs> and at the time that you want it. But they encourage us to take time and use our vacation so that we don't burn ourselves out. Because look, here, I don't want to be burnt out. I got a lot of life to live. I got to meet my husband. We got to get married and, and travel and have some good times too. You know, so um, I'm not trying to be burnt out. Just because I'm almost 52 don't mean I got to be stiff and can't do anything. Uh, isn't that right, winners? This is your girl, Carl Lynn. I'm not going to keep you any longer. But just chat with me. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you're going to do. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not so far. I love all of you. And I look forward to seeing some of you on some of these uh, group cruise vacations. Um, but chime in, guys. Let me know if there's any planned cruises coming up for next year besides the I believe it's what is it, the celebration or the group, uh, the the vloggers unite cruise or whatever they call it. I forgot right now, but um, I know I'm not able to attend that right now. But if there's any other things that you're doing amongst your groups or yourselves, let me know. I'm game. I'm in for it, you guys. So anyway, this is Carmel and for the win. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Don't forget to go out and get those candles from Kirkland, Audi or Bath and Body Works. No matter where you go, they smell good. And I also found um, there's always only maybe just one or two left uh, when I go to Alta, so they must be really good too. Um, but they have some good smelling candles as well. I'm not, I get all kind of deals from Yankee. Um, I've bought Yankee candles a couple times. I love the top notes, but once they start burning, they get down to that second and third note. 
I don't like it. I'm sorry, Yankee. No, nothing against you. I just don't like it. Um, the top note is amazing, but it's the second and third note when they start getting into those other scents. Mm, I have to quickly turn the candle and burn it, blow it out. And so that's just the way, because Yankee is kind of expensive, and I don't want to spend all that money only for just the top note. Mm. Anyway, my winners, this is Carl Lynn wishing you a great day. I'll see you again soon. God willing, I love you. Be great. Don't let anyone stop you. Why? Because you're winners and you won't allow them anyway. All right. Have a good day. Bye.